Hi guys, welcome to another Excel at Mathematics video. This video I will be discussing polynomial equations. What is a polynomial equation? A polynomial equation is an equation that is formed with variables, exponents and coefficients together with operations and an equal sign. The largest exponent determines the degree of the equation. For example, x squared plus x less 12 equals 0 is a second degree polynomial equation. The exponent of each variable in a polynomial equation needs to be a whole number. The roots of an equation are the values that solve the equation if they are substituted into the variable. Finding the root of a polynomial is sometimes called solving the polynomial. The steps to solve a polynomial equation. You have to set the equation equal to 0 by moving all variables and values to one side. Know how many roots do you expect? There is a factor for every root, and vice versa. x less r is a factor if and only if r is a root. Factorize the equation to get to the following format. Then we have the following two roots, x equals negative a and x equals b. Either one will lead to the equation above being equal to zero. The constant determines what the possibilities are for the roots. For example, x squared plus 3x less 4 equals 0. We have two possible combinations for a and b. So first combination is negative 1 and 4. Then 1 and negative 4, negative 2 and 2. These are the factors of the constant, which is negative 4. So by multiplying these two values, you should get to minus 4. So let's look at a few examples. So here's the first example. The constant here is minus 6, therefore the possible combinations are the following. The value before x is minus 1, so the combination above that we need to use has to give minus 1 when added together. The combination we have to use is therefore minus 3 and 2. Since the largest exponent is 2, we need two factors. We have the following form, x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 3. Therefore, we have the following two roots, x equals negative 2 and x equals 3. So to get to this answer, you take one of the brackets, so let's, let's go with x plus 2 equals 0, and then you move around and, give, and it gives you x equals minus 2. On to the next example. The combinations for the constant are the following, minus 1 and 3, 1 and minus 3. The combinations for the value in front of the variable with the highest exponent are the following, 1 and 2. We need to use the combinations that will get us to 5 when multiplied with each other. The only possible way to get close to 5 is to multiply 2 and 3, then we get 6. Then, by multiplying the remaining two numbers, minus 1 and 1, we get minus 1. And adding this to the 6 gets us to 5. Therefore, we have 2x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 3 equals 0. So from this we get 2x minus 1 equals 0 and x plus 3 equals 0. Then solving these two equations we get that x equals a half and x equals minus 3. So for the last example I split it into two parts. So there's the equation, it's a third degree polynomial equation. Since the constant is minus 6, we have the possible factors 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3, 6, and minus 6. Substitute one of these possible factors into the equation until you find one that gives you an answer of 0. It's easiest to start from the smallest factors. For an equation that's higher than degree 2, it's, this is usually the method to take since it's very difficult to immediately see what one of the factors should be. So the easiest way is to just go from the smallest factor that you know and just substitute it into the function and then get the first one that gives you zero. The first factor to give an answer of zero is two. Therefore, x equals two is our first factor. By using the first factor, we can write the, the above equation to this format. The constant is minus six, so we need to multiply the minus two with three. So now we have x minus two and then the second degree x plus bx plus 3. So to get 2x to the power of 3, we know that a has to be 2. So then we can also substitute the 2 into the, into the equation. Next, we need to find b. The coefficient of x squared is 3. 
And from the above, we know that bx squared minus 4x squared equals 3x squared. Therefore, b is 7. So now we have x minus 2 is in the first bracket, and then 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. So now we need to solve the second bracket. It's because this bracket can still be split up since it's a second degree polynomial equation. The constant is 3, so the only possible combination is 1 and 3. Or minus 1 and 3, but in this equation, since the middle part is a, is a large positive, we don't look at the negatives. So the coefficient of the x squared is 2. So the only possible combination is 1 and 2. To get the co coefficient of x, which is 7, the only possibility is to multiply the 3 with 2. So if we do that, we get 6, and then multiplying the other remaining two combinations of a 1 and 1 will get us to 7. Therefore, splitting up the above equation, we get to 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3. So by solving this, we get that x equals minus a half and x equals minus 3. So if we substitute this into the initial equation, we get this. So we have three solutions for x. 2 minus a half and minus 3. So that is all for polynomial equations. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. And my next video, I will co cover how to solve simultaneous equations. This image on the screen is just a quick, easy example of what a simultaneous equation looks like. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, and if you have any suggestions or content that you want to see, please leave it in the comment sections, and you can find my email address on my, on my channel, and you can also send me emails there if you want to, me to make any other videos. Thanks.